Jeremy, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. All right, well, first of all, you're headed off to Switzerland now, and uh, this is one of those uh, teams, and, and it's in a, one of those divisions where if you don't play well as a team, you get sent down to, like, the B League, right? What, what's it like playing in that type of a situation? Well, the last two teams that, that finish, you know, the last two records, the worst two records in the league, uh, get sent down. Uh, but, uh, you know, the top two teams from the second league, you know, sent up. That's usually how they do it in most countries. But um, this is a very good country to be playing basketball in because, it's you know, it's in the middle of Europe. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be in Lugano, Switzerland, which is close to the Italian border. Uh, you know, so I'm going to get a lot of exposure from, uh, you know, Italy, France. You know, Germany is right up there. So uh, if, I, if I play well enough, and uh, we do well enough as a team. It could be a very good moving country, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and you'll be playing with a couple other Americans, at least on the starting lineup. Uh, Dante Taylor, a former Pitt star, uh, among the starting lineup there. Do you, do you know any of those guys yet? Yeah, I, I looked them up, and I know they're they're uh, good talents, and uh, you know I'm, I'm looking forward to to meeting them and. Uh, you know, getting to know him and, and playing ball with him. And I know that, uh, you know, Dante is a really, really good talent uh, playing at Pittsburgh. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I think the Ken Ransifer, former uh, San Diego player. So you got a couple of guys uh, you can gel with, at least speak English, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's big. Well, and how much of that was a, a barrier for you when you were playing in Morocco this past season? Uh, communication uh, is very, very vital uh, in, in every aspect of life. You know, uh, you know, we, we were taught to communicate so much at Bellman, You know, on defense, on offense. You know, it's it's a big part of being successful as a team. And uh, you know, going to a country and not being able to communicate, but with maybe two players at a time on the floor. You know, and the other two have. You know, no clue what you're saying at any time. Uh, it's very difficult, um, but it, it took some time to, uh, you know, some adjustment. And, um, you know, it took a lot of patience. And, you know, you just have to learn how to adjust to it and, uh, you know, just do your best and, and, and try to mesh well with, with the guys. Even though you can't really speak to them, you know, you just have to use translators and, so it's very difficult at times, but uh, it's definitely a good experience, and it, it teaches you a lot about life and and uh, about basketball and communicating. Well, it seems like one thing that translates to all languages is winning, and you just keep doing that. You were on the championship team for uh, in the Moroccan league there, and you had a pretty good season. If if I translated the press release correctly uh, from uh, Italian, uh, you you had 19 points, right? You averaged 19 points, four rebounds, and three assists per game. Is that about right? Yeah, I I, I believe it's pretty close to my college numbers. So, uh, you know, if I had to guess, I. Throw it around there, yeah. Yeah. So, so what what was that like uh, in, in terms of compared to college? What was the competition like in uh, in the, the the Moroccan league? Um, you know, honestly, uh, it's a small country, so so the competition wasn't uh, it wasn't as good as is what uh, a lot of people would think maybe it'd be over there because it's a professional basketball league. Uh, the competition was probably about the same as. Say, uh, you know, Division Two talent, you know, uh, maybe not even quite as good as the GLVC, you know, the league that Bellarmine played in. So, uh, you know, the competition wasn't quite as good um, from top to bottom, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, there were some good players over there. I mean, of course, the, you know, every foreign player is, is good over there. You know, they, they're very good players, but uh, as far as the local talent, it, it wasn't it wasn't as good right. as uh, you would expect, you know. And, and so, what's your expectations in the Swiss league? Do you think that's going to be better than, uh, than 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 you what you were used to playing at Bellarmine? Yeah, yeah well, it probably uh, being in the middle of Europe, and it's going to be a step up from Morocco, no doubt. Yeah. Um, now, as far as you know, if it's going to be if it's going to be as good as. Uh, element type talent or, or 
you know, low Division One, mid major Division One. I'm not, you know, real sure. I just know that, you know, uh, <clears throat> there's been some some really good basketball players, for, you know, guys from the states who have went there and played. Um, they, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot better than Morocco. Um, I hope that. Uh, you know, my team I get on is 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 do will do well, and I continue to have success. But um, you know, any any challenge that's laid ahead of me, you know, I'm, I'm going to look forward to it. And I'm going to make the best out of it. And I got to ask you, obviously, early on in your college career, uh, the problems with with both of your feet you broke one of them, uh, the stress fractures on the other, uh, all the the stress in playing and winning a, a championship in college, winning the championship last year in the Moroccan League. Any problems? Are you injury free? <laughs> uh, knock on wood, but yeah, I'm, I'm currently injury free. Uh, need to lose lose about ten pounds, be get get down to where I'm real lean and I'm real explosive. But uh, you know, in, my body feels great, and uh, uh, you know, I couldn't ask for any more. You know, given what all I've been through in the early stages of my my college career um, with the surgeries and all the injuries, and it seemed like never ending story. But anyways. Uh, you know, I'm I'm very healthy now, and and thank God, and you know I'm doing great, and you know I'm ready to go. So, well, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. Well, well last thing, Jeremy, uh, are you thinking about long term working your way up to uh, to the NBA at some point? Is that is that still in the cards for you? You know, um, that's always every kid's dream of playing in the NBA. Being from from the states, and even being you know living in Europe growing up, you know it's. If, they, if kids love basketball, that's what they want to do. And uh, no, I'm not saying that's not going to happen. I'm not going to say it's going to happen. Of course, I always strive to to uh, to get that good. But um, you know, if it doesn't happen at this point in my life, you know, you know, it, it doesn't happen for a lot of guys. You know what I mean? And and uh, my basketball career has been very successful. And um, you know, I thank God for that every day. And and I'm. If I play in Europe for the rest of my life, then then, then that's that's just what it'll be, and uh, I'll just continue to try to move up, continue to try to get better every day, um, you know, every drill, and uh, you know, wherever wherever God takes me is is uh, is gonna be what it is. So, um, of course, that would be a dream come true, of course, but uh, you know, just gotta focus on getting better every day, and uh, something like that happens. If I get a chance and opportunity, then great. If not. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to be sad or, or mad about it. So. Well, we certainly wish you the best of luck, and you're certainly giving uh, those of us here in Kentucky a reason to follow the Swiss League uh, in this coming season. So uh, congratulations to you, and uh, thanks for doing this, Jeremy. Hey, thanks a lot for having me. I appreciate it.